This brief skills training video is about progressive muscle relaxation. Now I'll explain what progressive muscle relaxation is in the next few slides, but first you may be wondering what exactly this video might be useful for. The truth is many of us experience stress in our day-to-day -day lives, and this may be especially true during a global pandemic. We've created this video to help you learn about progressive muscle relaxation, which is a skill that can be helpful in tolerating distress. Distress tolerance skills are a part of dialectical behavior therapy, or DBT. We use distress tolerance skills when we are feeling distressed and it is difficult or impossible to change the situation. Distress tolerance skills are used to help us cope and survive during a crisis without making the problem worse, and to help us tolerate short or long-term physical or emotional distress. After we tolerate this distress, we can return to a place where we can adaptively respond to the stressor at hand, like using problem solving. Distress tolerance skills can also be particularly useful for coping with eating disorder related urges. Progressive muscle relaxation or PMR is one relatively simple distress tolerance skill, but also one that can be extremely effective. PMR is a relaxation technique that uses our body's various muscle groups to influence how we feel and lower our distress levels. This technique involves isolating and focusing on each muscle group one at a time. PMR can help us to feel grounded, relaxed, and better able to manage distress and intense emotions. The physical tension of the muscles, followed by relaxation of those muscle groups, elicits a relaxation response from our brain and helps relieve muscular tension or soreness. PMR is a particularly useful distress tolerance skill because we can do it anywhere and without any special tools besides our mind and body. Because you're imagining in your own mind and then tensing and relaxing your muscles, it may not even be noticeable to other people that you're practicing. That's why this skill can be so useful. You can do it pretty much anywhere. Like with all distress tolerance skills, it's important to practice PMR before you are distressed. Today, we're going to read one PMR script that we've adapted from several online anxiety websites, and we've provided the links to those websites at the end. Try to focus intently on each muscle group. You're welcome to get into a comfortable position sitting or lying down and to close your eyes. After we finish with the PMR script, we'll return to discuss how you may be able to personalize it as a distress tolerance skill and adjust the duration of practice to fit your needs. Now that you've learned all about why progressive muscle relaxation can be so helpful, let's go ahead and give it a try. So to get started, find a very comfortable, relaxed position. You can do this practice in a chair or lying down, either is fine. You may want to close your eyes. This can help you stay grounded and stay in the here and now. Or feel free to keep your eyes open. Do what's most comfortable for you. Let's begin by focusing on your breathing. Following your breath as it comes into your body and goes out of your body. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Inhale deeply through your nose with your mouth closed. Exhale through your mouth slowly. On the exhale, imagine that the tension is leaving your body, flowing out with each exhale. Slow, even breaths. This can help our bodies begin to relax as we start to notice the difference between tension and relaxation. Continue to breathe deeply as you move into the muscle tension and relaxation part of this exercise. We will begin with your feet and work our way up. Now, focus on your feet. Tighten the muscles in your feet by clenching your toes and pulling the tops of your feet up toward your shins. Hold the tension. Notice the tension. Then release and relax your toes as you breathe out. 
Imagine the tension flowing out with your breath. Notice the difference between tension and relaxation. Next, let's focus on your lower legs. Press the balls of your feet into the floor and raise your heels, allowing your calf muscles to contract. Hold tight and tense. Then release and relax, allowing the tension to drain away and melt into the ground. Notice the experience of peaceful relaxation in your calves. Continue to breathe naturally and easily as you pay attention to the relaxation in your calves. Shift your awareness now to your upper legs. Tense and tighten the muscles in your thighs. Hold them tight, tensing. Notice the tension. Then release and relax, letting any tightness, discomfort, or stress flow away while continuing to notice the difference between tension and tranquility. Stay with that experience while continuing to breathe easily and calmly. Now let's move your awareness to your stomach and back. Tighten those muscles by pulling your belly button as far as you can towards your back. Tight and tense. Hold. Tight. Then release and relax, making plenty of space in your abdomen for your breath. Noticing how it feels to allow your muscles to be still. Gently shift your attention to your hands. Curl your fingers into tight, tense fists, squeezing as tight as you can. Notice the sense of tension as you continue to breathe. Then release and relax, letting any tension or discomfort flow out through your fingertips. Take time for the experience as the tension melts away, replaced by a feeling of calm, peaceful relaxation. Next, focus on your arms. Flex both of your arms by making fists and pulling your fist up tightly to your shoulders. Tighten all of those muscles, pulling your arms in as tight as you can into your body. Tight and tense. And hold. Then release and relax, allowing your arms to settle. Take another inhale. And as you exhale and relax your arms down to your sides, notice the difference between stress and stillness. Now move on to your shoulders and neck. Lift your shoulders up and in towards your ears, 
really pulling them into your neck. Hold the shrugging position. Feel the tension in your neck and shoulder muscles. Then release and relax, letting your shoulders fall gently down and back, letting go of any stress and allowing the muscles in your neck and shoulders to be free from tension. Now gently focus your attention on all the tiny muscles of your face. Scrunch your face as if you just bit into something sour. Feel your eyebrows pull together, your eyes pinch tightly shut, and your lips purse together. Notice the sensation of ten tension in your face. Notice the sensation of tenseness. Then allow your face to release and relax. Notice the release of tension from your forehead, eyes, cheeks, mouth, and jaw. And now, imagine looking over your whole body to see if there are any remaining areas of tension or discomfort. Gently breathe into those areas, imagining oxygen is going directly to any, any, to any areas of tension. Let yourself be still for a few moments. Just experience your relaxed muscles. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply. Feel any tension flow out of your body. Your relaxation can get deeper with each breath. When you are ready, bring your attention back to your breathing. Notice your body and how it feels. Take one more full breath and gently bring your attention to the world around you. When you're ready, open your eyes. How did that feel? Was it easy to focus on each of the muscle groups? It might have been difficult for you to fully be mindful during the exercise, and that's okay. Practicing may help you get there more easily. It also may be that you thought the script was too detailed or too vague, too long or too short. There are numerous PMR scripts online and on YouTube, and we've listed a few on the next slide. You can also create your own PMR script or practice on the go. Remember, you can use this skill almost anywhere. Most people won't even know you're practicing. You don't have to be lying down, and you can focus on as few or as many muscle groups as you'd like. Thanks for joining us in this progressive muscle relaxation practice. We hope that it's been helpful.